Hello there, first grade. So for our unit one, week two, we're going to be talking about where I live. So where you live. And our essential question is, what is it like where you live? So I'm gonna go ahead and share our weekly opener and we're gonna talk a little bit about that and then we're gonna talk about our vocabulary that will go along with what we're talking about in this week. Also, we're gonna talk about some of our high frequency words. So real quick with a recap, again, our essential question is, what is it like where you live? So throughout this whole entire week, we are going to be talking about things that you, you, where you could live, the surrounding areas, what it looks like. And for this one right here, it says outside my window. So this little boy's looking and seeing what is outside his window. So when you look outside your window, what do you see? So another thing is our weekly concept, which I said we're going to be talking about where I live. So talking about where you live, all right? So I want you thinking about that. So now we're gonna go ahead into our vocabulary. Alrighty, so these are our vocabulary words right here, and these are our high frequency words. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with our first word, which is city, all right? City is a large town with tall buildings and many people. So our school is actually in pretty much in the city. I live in the city too. So again, a city is where is a large town with tall buildings and many people. So this right here is a city. And again, it has buildings where people live and work. So I want you to think, does a city have many streets and buildings or just a few streets and buildings? Hmm. You're right. A city has many streets and buildings. So again, Pittsburgh is a city. It has many streets and buildings. Good job. My next word is country. Let's have cows. Let's find out what a country is. A country is a land outside of a, city, or a town or city. And this normally has farms and not many buildings or people. I actually grew up in the country. So when I looked out of the, my elementary school, I could actually see cows like that. It was not like the city because the city, again, has a bunch of buildings and a bunch of people walking around, whereas in the country, it doesn't have many buildings or people. It has a lot of farms, all right? So what do you see when you are in the country? Hmm, what could you see if you were in the country? You could see maybe some ducks. Maybe you could see some chickens or you can see some horses. There's many things that you can see in the city. My next word is bored. Hmm, you've probably heard of this word before, bored. When you feel bored, you feel like you have nothing to do or that nothing is interesting. When I was younger, sometimes, even now, sometimes I think some things are boring. And you have no interest in it, you're just like, this is boring. If you bring a book on the bus with you, you won't feel bored on the long run. Right. I want you to think about this. What do you do when you feel bored? What can you do if you feel bored? Think about that. Well, if you feel bored, you might be able to, like the person did on the bus, read a book. Maybe you could watch TV. Or you know what else you could do? You could go outside and play. There's many things that you could do if you start to feel bored. All right, our next word is feast. Feast. Hmm, what does it look like they're doing at the table? And it says feast. What do you, what a feast could be? A feast is a big fancy meal, meal with different foods, many different foods. So this family right here, some families have feasts at Thanksgiving. So I'm thinking, what foods would you like to eat at a feast? I want you to think about that. 
What foods would you like to eat at a feast? If it was me, I would love to have stuffing. I love stuffing. And I also like broccoli casserole. That's super good. What about you? I want you to think about that. I bet those are some yummy ideas that you guys have. My next word is scurried. Scurried, let's look at this picture. Scurried. I'm gonna go ahead and play this video for you. Scurried. When you scurried, you were moving very quickly. Moving very quickly. So scurried means to move very quickly. So that squirrel scurried up that tree when it saw the dog, scared. Can you think of a time when you squirt, when you scurried to get somewhere? Maybe you were catching the bus and you had to run really fast. Or maybe you were at a gym class and you scurried, you moved really, really quick. Or maybe somebody scared you and you ran away. Awesome. Now we're into our high frequency words, all right? And these are words, like I said in the last week, these are words that you're gonna see a lot when you read. And that way, I want you to learn how to read them and to write them, all right? So our word down, go ahead and say the word down with me. Ready? Down, good job. We go down the steps. The word down is spelled D-O-W-N. Let's go ahead and spell it in the air, you ready? D-O-W-N, good job. Our next word we have is out. They go out to play. Let's go ahead and say the word out together. Ready? Out. The word out is spelled O-U-T. Let's spell it in there. You ready? O-U-T. Good job. Our next high frequency word is up. They went up the hill. Say the word up together. You ready? Up. Let's go ahead and spell that together. I'm going to spell it first and then we'll spell it up in the air. It is U P, up. Let's spell it in the air. You ready? U P. Good job. My next word is very. Let's go ahead and say the word together. You ready? Very. Good job. It is very loud in the city. The word very is spelled B-E-R-Y. Let's spell it in the air. You ready? V-E-R-Y. Good job, first grade. All right, we're back to our first vocabulary word. I'm really proud of you guys today because we went over all of our vocabulary words that we are going to be seeing throughout this week. And we went over some high frequency words that you're going to be reading in your books. All right, you did such a great job and I'm so proud of you. And we'll see you guys later, bye.